Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Well, the time has come yet again to open up my camera bag and show you what's inside. That sounds a little bit weird, but anyway, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you are doing well. So, as some of you may know, in about two, three weeks, I'm going traveling for the foreseeable future. No real plan, just go from one country to another and keep going until I get bored. Now, in total, I will be traveling with two bags and a sling. The first bag is the camera bag, which will have all my camera gear, which is what this video is about today. And the second bag will have all my clothes and various travel bits and bobs. So if you're here because you wanna see what my pants and socks look like, then I suggest waiting for one of the future videos that will show you that in great detail. Now, before getting into the specifics, I just wanna make a couple of things clear. First and foremost, this is my job, this is how I make my living. Therefore, the amount of gear that I bring will be a little bit higher and a little bit more expensive than what the usual person would need. As a matter of fact, if you're gonna go backpacking yourself, you're not relying on making videos and taking photos to pay your way through. You can literally get away with like a quarter of what I'm gonna share today. So please don't assume everything I talk about is required. It definitely isn't and I wish I could travel lighter. Also keep in mind that even though this is a street and city photography channel, I will be doing other forms of photography on my travels and I'm also gonna be making videos. So this is not a street photography specific video. However, I will obviously talk about my street photography kit as well. Let's start with the bag itself and it's the Peak Design 15 liter zip. It's the smaller version, which for me works a treat because I have generally smaller sized gear. If you're traveling with medium format, full frame or large laptops, this bag is no good for you. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you'll know I've been through a ton of bags. And to be honest, most of us photographers have. I think I've wasted so much money on buying bags, selling bags. I've been through North Face, Bellroy, and I'm back now with the Speak Design for the simple reason is it's the most efficient use of that space in terms of how the whole bag is set up. I personally still think it's way too complicated and I still think that it's a little bit heavy for what it is and it's definitely not as comfortable as the North Face or the Bellroy bags. However, in terms of like inching out every tiny bit of space in this bag, I think this is definitely the best one. Moving on to cameras, I have four cameras. So two of them are Fujifilm X-D4s and two of them are GoPro Hero 10s. Let's start with the Fuji cameras. The reason I have two is for the simple reason of a backup. So if one camera goes down and I still have three weeks left in a particular location, that will completely destroy my plans. Now, in terms of why I have two X-T4s in particular, rather than, let's say, an X-T4 for video and an X-Pro3 for photography, is because I don't want to make unnecessary decisions. And what I mean by that is I want to just grab a camera and know that I can do anything I want with it with regards to photo and video. The moment I need to start making decisions about which camera to take, it's just an extra decision that's just simply not required. Not to mention having the same camera means the setup is the same and the accessories are the same. So if I, let's say, had my X100V that are sold now, it's not just the camera that I need to bring, it's also the extra batteries, the extra chargers, which obviously don't work with the X-T4. So by having two identical cameras, it means there is less hassle, less faff, less gear to bring, and I don't even need to think about which camera to take. I'll just grab the first one, and I go. So the whole point is the gear gets out of my way and just lets me go out and take photos, make videos, etc. Another good reason for having two cameras is, let's say if I'm taking photos in bad weather, or let's say if I'm hiking, or doing something where changing lenses is not ideal, you can have two bodies with two separate lenses. So for street photography, I can have the 18 mil on one camera, and the 33 mil on the other camera, so I'm covered straight away. So if it's raining and I need to go from wide to a tighter shot, I don't have to change lenses. If I've gone for a hike and I'm doing, let's say, landscape photography, I can have a wider lens on one body and a telephoto lens on the other body. So again, I'm not changing lenses on the side of a mountain. I can just simply go in my bag, get the other camera, take the photo, put it back. So again, it just makes the whole process more simple. Moving on to the GoPros, these will be my main kind of vlogging POV uh, B-roll cameras where I don't particularly want to risk the X-T4 or I'm in a location where walking around with a proper camera and vlogging is going to look a bit silly. The reason I have two, again, backup, but also they're set up differently. So one of them has the media mod, which means I can use the better quality mic 
and it has the little selfie stick, so that's my vlogging setup if I need to talk to the camera. Whereas the other GoPro has a magnetic mount and that allows it to literally magnetically stick to any metal surface. So if I want to get B-roll of myself and, and I'm on, on my own, then I can use that setup. It also has a little clamp, which means I can just clamp it to my backpack and have it as a POV camera, therefore saving bringing any other accessories. Now let's move on to lenses. And in total, I have four, two primes, two zooms. So let's start with the primes. I've got the 18 and the 33 F1.4s. The reason I went for the 1.4s over the 2s, which are lighter, smaller, etc., is because I want better low light performance and I want better autofocus, which is crucial because the 18 right now is my main video lens, at least for these talking head segments. But generally, whenever I'm out and about, I want to be able to do both photography and video at once. So having the latest focusing motors is a big benefit. From specifically a street photography perspective though, having the 18 as my establishing wide angle lens and the 33 as my subject and detail lens covers pretty much everything. And because these lenses are so sharp, I have no issues with cropping in and effectively cropping the 18 to the 23 and then cropping the 33 to a 50. And on the X-T4, you can get plenty good enough resolution by doing that. And in future, Fuji cameras, when they move up to, let's say, 40 megapixels or whatever that is, it's even going to be better. So having two primes means I'm covered for pretty much every focal length that I would need within a street environment. Moving on to the zooms, I have the 16 to 55 and the 50 to 140. The 16 to 55 is kind of my jack of all trades lens. It's also my backup lens. If any of the primes fail, I can still do everything I need with that 16 to 55. Also, if I'm going out shooting in the rain or dirty, dusty environment, and I don't wanna keep changing lenses, and I don't wanna bring two separate bodies, the 16 to 55 is the obvious choice. Out of all these lenses, it's by far my most used lens. You could probably tell by the body of how worn out it is and for good reason. Fantastic optical quality and generally a very good lens. And finally, it's the 50 to 140 f2.8. It's big, it's heavy, it's very bulky and it takes up a chunk of uh, space in my bag. However, it's an incredible lens. Now, mostly it will be used for a more travel type photography scenario and more for landscape rather than cities. However, saying that, there are a few spots in Lisbon that I remember that would look fantastic at 140 mil. All right, now let's move on to laptops, computers, and I have my 14 inch MacBook, which I'll use for all my video editing and for pretty much everything, right? And I've still got my M1 12.9 inch iPad Pro. I was kind of toying with the idea of getting rid of one of them, uh, just to save space, weight, and not to carry that much expensive gear with me. Um, however, I'm not sure if I will do that just yet. Or if I do, I might downsize the iPad to the smaller 11 inch and just not bother with the keyboard and the trackpad and all that. But I still think I'll end up with both for the simple reason that if my laptop breaks down for whatever reason, and they can, I've had it happen before, I am not stuck without a computer. Another good thing with having both is that the iPad can actually be a second monitor for my Mac. So if I'm doing like a big video project and I can have the files on one screen and then the timeline on the other. So again, it makes my life a little bit easier. Another thing that's crucial to my business is today's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. I've been using them for ages. They've been on this channel for a while and for good reason. They offer a fantastic product, which means that you as a photographer, as someone who will be traveling, can have everything you need under one roof. You've got your portfolio, you've got your online store, you've got your blog, you've got your newsletter, and everything is easily packaged into an app or into an online portal that you can access anywhere and make all the necessary changes that you need. Even though social media is great, I still encourage everyone who takes their photography seriously to have an online portfolio and their own website where you can show off your best work in the way that you like. So if you are interested in creating your own website, I do highly suggest Squarespace. If you use the link down below, you'll get 10% of your first purchase after your free trial. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring and to you for watching this bit of the video. Okay, now let's talk about a few random bits and bobs. So as for microphones, I have two or three technically. I have have a Sennheiser shotgun mic. It's a little tiny one, great for the GoPro, great for the X-T4 as well, because it doesn't stick out very much. I have a Rode Wireless Go, which is what's filming me right now, and a little Rode uh, lav mic, which I'm testing out for the first time on this channel. I've never used lav mics before, 
hopefully the sand is not too bad but I think a lav is a bit better than me holding the uh, uh, shotgun mic in front of my face because obviously I don't have a mic stand. Anyway, as Mike's uh, hard drives, I have two SanDisk SSDs. I would rather travel with a smaller SSD than a hard drive. And finally, I have a bag of bits. This is just a small packing cube and it has things like chargers, spare batteries, spare cables, etc. For the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna go through everything that's there because you will fall asleep if you haven't already. Uh, but on the video right now, you can at least get an idea of what's there. If there's something specific, then just go to my gear page on my website where there is a full list of pretty much everything that I own. And finally, tripods, I have two. One is filming me right now, which is a Manfrotto Element uh, carbon fiber tripod. And the other one is just like a cheap little handheld, newer Amazon special. I don't use tripods for photography that much, well, at all. It's just mostly for video. However, if I ever do use a tripod for photography, I would imagine it would be with the 50 to 140 for something like a cityscape or a, uh, traditional landscape type photo but even then i can't see myself using one but you never know all right that's literally about everything for today i hope you've enjoyed this video that is a fucking big beat jesus christ sorry i hope you've enjoyed this video um i hope you got something out of it and if you have any questions comments leave them down below uh, the follow-up videos of all my other travel gear will come in the uh, following weeks that's it. Thank you. As always, I wish you a fantastic week. Thank you again and again, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.